<laughs> Jenna Friedman. Hello. Hi, friends. Um, Hi, friends. Alright, whatever. I mean, come on. It's fine. It's not even something about porn. Like, we know it's not even a, it's not even a debate. I, I wanted to be on the friend side just because I felt like it would be a challenge, but it's just not even a, a debate at this point. But I, w I do want to kind of, you know, cover. I'm sorry, I'm wearing all black. I'm, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so um, a couple of things. First of all, like, um, if I didn't have family, I wouldn't be here. Not biologically, I just wouldn't be a comedian. I think there's something about family that just makes you, that really pushes you to places you wouldn't normally go. Um, a little bit about my family, I guess. My mother, well, I guess when she, and Kevin, uh, I, I don't know if you mentioned that you're gay, but uh, you, um, I met, Did he need to? For my, I mean, it's, it, so when I told, when I came out as being a comedian, my family <laughs> treated that, they like, treated it like a death in the family. They were like, we'd rather you be gay, because at least that's something you can't control, but... <laughs> I love my, my parents. My dad's always been supportive of my career. My mom first kind of became supportive. She, I realized it when she just like starts sending me New York Times articles of like other comedians uh, who had killed themselves. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, is the mic weird? <laughs> it's the mic, you guys. Not this person. Not talking. Uh, and then my dad. Um, my dad was always like supportive. I remember like um, the first pep talk he gave me after I became a comedian. He was like, "Don't worry, Jenna." Success is like AIDS. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. I know what you guys are thinking that's oh. HIV. Um, <laughs> sorry, kids, but you should know this stuff. Um, success take like AIDS takes years, you know, like. Um, <laughs> I should not do my material. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, so I have more to that joke, but it's not really going well. So, um, because my family instilled me with a sense of confidence, I'm just gonna plow through. Uh, you can choose your friends. You can choose your family. We're on the Upper West Side. It's called in vitro. I feel like uh, the sperm donor is like the mascot of the Upper West Side. Um, totally weird. All right, Charles Manson. The Manson family, right. So Charles Manson actually was like, had like a, a woman gave birth to him when she was 16. I think he was hugged once, never even was able to be in a foster home. Didn't, clearly did not have a family. I'm not saying all children without families end up killing Sharon Tate, but I am saying that we should have a better, you know, social services in place. <laughs> so, if the debate is over, why not be preachy? You know, and I'll get to that. You Sorry, kids. I'll get to that. Hold on. Um, what else? Uh, so, I don't want to pander, but since everyone except for the people on stage, not including Rogowski, are Jewish, since we're all Jewish, um, you know the importance of family, you know? Like, um, you can't, can't trust anyone else. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Talking about you know how we're like ingrained so I'm Jewish but it's like I'm neurotic but all Jews are just because it's like in our blood just from like 5,000 years of just being chased you know what I mean we're all like the Inquisition the Holocaust what like the Purim story whatever that was like we've had so, so many people any what I'm saying is the, the neuroses is, is like a you know it's like Anyone who wasn't erotic is just like no longer in the gene pool, is what I'm saying. You know, like, you know, like, 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 an artist, like he's not ever to fly, like gone. Those guys are not. I'm just thinking out loud, I should have taped this because it's almost like an open mic. But, um, so cool. All right. Uh, yeah, David Koresh, same thing. Those aren't there. You're, you're not going to go, like, drink that much Kool Aid with your family. You're just going to get annoyed by them. They're not going to inspire you to kill, you know what I mean? It's just not the same thing as the false confidence you have when you're with your friends. You know what I mean? Like, you guys get it, kids, friends. Mm -mm. They're not. In seventh grade, my friends told me to drink a glass of water. It was toilet water. It fucked me, sorry. It, it totally messed me up a little bit. I was very about, about drinking toilet water, my friends. And I went to her wedding this weekend. <laughs> Anymore. We haven't talked in like a decade, 
okay, but because we're like, well, like, she kind of is family, you know? Anyway. <laughs> Such a good, well, Elna did such a good job. Um, <laughs> uh, I just want to tell you guys this because it's so I was at my grandmother's funeral a little while ago and I was comforting my mother, and a friend of my grandmother's came up to us and was like, It's so nice that Frida got to know all of her grandchildren as adults. And my mom, like, smiled. She was so sad and she looked up and she's like, Not Jenna. Jenna's not an adult because I'm a comedian. So. <laughs> Even in her darkest moments, she is still an asshole, and that's why I'm a comedian. But that's not, that's nothing to do with this. But, um, all right. Uh, another thing, so, you know, we talk about, uh, let's talk about Ebola. Um, <laughs> Ebola doesn't spread through friends. I mean, it doesn't spread through high fives. It spreads through family and care workers, you know, like, intimately helping each other. And uh, my point is, I'm doing a benefit November 19th. <laughs> I'm talking about borders at Irving Plaza. I have a thousand seats to fill. I don't know how it's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to happen, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> Jenna, stay on track. Stay on track. <laughs> yeah, no one's been asked to do the benefit on this stage. So that's all I had to say because I was raised by a very one. My mom and my family's great. They gave me confidence. Like I can bomb on stage and still be okay. You know what I mean? Because I have a great family. I mean, they're they're good enough. Like they. Uh, so that's all. Okay, thanks.